Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick little video because you know everyone's on sort of lockdown. I don't even know if I can go to the allotment yet, but um, there is some I, I can sort of show you to sort of it's a bit of fun for kids as well, I suppose. Um, and you can also possibly get a crop out of them. That's if you can get the seeds and the compost because everywhere's shut down. So um, <clears throat> if you can get all of any compost or if you've got any old plant pots with some compost in, as long as it's not too wet and soggy, it might do. So all I'm going to use is. Uh, toilet roll tubes because everyone seems to have gone a bit mad with them so uh, you'll have some of these popping up so they don't cost you anything you can use any old tub I've just got some old mushroom ponnets brown mushroom ponnets and it's starting to rain as well a little bit but there'll be enough time for doing this you don't have to have anything fancy like trays you just stop the mess but if your kids are going to be doing it for a bit of fun then let them make a bit of mess it doesn't matter it won't do them any harm so uh, you get these toilet roll tubes and just fill them up with compost. I've not done these for years, um, which is runner beans. Uh, I haven't got any new seeds. Uh, I found an envelope with some seeds in which were my own from six years ago. So if they germinate, be quite uh, be quite happy. So I just sort of. Fill some of these at the top. You know, once it, if it's packed enough, it won't fall out. But don't pack it super solid, if you know what I mean. You know, save uh, something you can get your kids to do as well. You know, because it just goes to show the times like this, it, uh, it can be a bit of a help if you can grow some of your own stuff. Uh, it's a little bit early in the year for these, yeah. I'll probably wait until the uh, middle of April. But you know, it's it's just for a bit of fun. You never know if you get a if it warms up sort of fairly soon. Not too bad. But uh, keep them inside on a windowsill until they've germinated, and then you can sort of bring them outside. You know, in sort of light sheltered areas because they don't like a cold draft. Um, so these are uh, runner beans, not French climbing beans. I've always found French climbing beans are a little bit, uh, they get a bit sulky in the cold. So I tend to uh, hold off on them for a while. But I've not grown runner beans since, like I say, 2014 must have been my last year of room. And um, you used to always get a, a load off them for the space you take up, because bear in mind it's a vertical crop. So you can, if you've got a little flower border somewhere, put some little canes in, or say little canes, because they can go a good six, seven foot high these. Or you can put little strings up, you know, um, this time, you know, needs must, just use whatever you can. They'll climb up string, you know, if you tap a little screw or a little hook into the top of a fence, and put a string on the ground, going up, they'll happily climb up that. They do need a bit of sunlight, they don't have to be full sun, even though it does help. Um, but like I say, it's, it's, it's fun for the kids and if you get a bit of a crop then it's a bonus. You know, and it gives them a sort of a responsibility to go out and... Because you never know when we're going to get sort of allowed to go back out and kids to play and stuff like that. So it's, it's not going to be in the very near future, I don't think. It's probably going to be... A couple of months off at least so I know it's know what it can be like trying to keep uh, kids entertained and if they can play out in the garden and this is just one of them things that they can do you know to pass a little bit of time same as potatoes you know if you've got any old potatoes knocking around in a bucket or something like that put a bit of compost in and stick one potato in the bottom of a bucket you know, 10, 12 weeks, tip it out. You know, but uh, don't be tempted to water everything too much. You don't have to worry about these pots because, uh, these tubes, because you're not going to empty them out or anything. The whole lot's going to get planted in the ground. Now, sometimes all the stuff will drop out if you're not careful. So, these are little make sure they're full to the top. The 
a variety I'm growing are Firestorm. There's one called Lady Die and stuff like that. But it's just any runner bean will do. You know, it's just for fun. There are preferred crops, but whatever you can find. So, envelope split open, so I've got a lot of seeds in my pocket. I'll come up close so you can see what they look like. You can use these for making bean sprouts as well, if you put them in a jar of water. But there's your seed. And on one side of it has like a little um, part there, and that's where it'll sprout from. So that needs to be planted downwards that bit. Not a flat on its side, if you keep it like down on its edge. And you simply just put it on top and you want to be pushing it down roughly, you know, to your first knuckle of your finger. That's that's deep enough. It's just like I say you on its edge, as if you're planting something on the edge of a coin sort of thing. It's less restrictive for it as it comes up then. Uh, it will need a bit of water you know you can use a cup or anything like that you know I've got a, a bottle, bottle but if you get any empty pot bottles make a couple of holes in the lid it's like a little watering can and then just get a bit more of your compost and just uh, fill them up it's just plain multi-purpose compost and nothing else in it. There's some stuff I've never used before called uh, Evergreen. Irish multi-purpose compost, never used it before. Looks all I could lay my hands on so it'll do. If push come to shove you can probably get some out of your soil in your garden to be honest but uh, compost is a bit better. I'll simply like that and I'm going to give him a right good drink from the top. You can soak them from the bottom if you want. And then hopefully within a week they should start to pop up. And you just have to maintain that water in then. Like I say, you need to keep them fairly warm, so room temperature is okay. And you can sort of pick it up and it'll start to feel a bit heavier. So, let's say, as long as you, your compost isn't really tightly packed, it will drain through. And then when you come to plant them out, you need to give them the right good watering so this cardboard will end up wet. The cardboard might get a bit mouldy and manky, and like, but that's fine, it doesn't worry about it because it'll be full of roots. And the idea is you plant the whole thing in the ground and the roots will bust through that and that'll just end up turning into compost so it's a way of getting rid of your cardboard so uh, if the seeds are viable great i'll get some out of them if not i've shown you how to do that part so and then like i say once they get about you know a foot tall or something put them outside then um but generally they need a bit of in and out in the daytime before you actually put them out it's a part called hardening them off you know you need to get them ready to, to be against the elements of the weather and the wind and everything. And I say a bit of support, a little canes or you know a bit of string to climb up and they will always climb up anti-clockwise so if you're looking down it, it will always go up anti-clockwise so sometimes you have to keep going out and just wrapping it round a bit if it's been rocked about by the wind. So uh, I'll keep you updated on how these go anyway. Um, I you know I tend to do the French climbing beans but I came across these seeds and I thought well it's the way things are at a minute it's a bit of fun because I know some schools do it you know where kids grow a little bean or a sunflower but you know sunflowers if you've got it it's great but I'm looking at this as something to eat you know because um, it will start pretty if you, if you get some growth on it you, you'll get some crop out of it and the more you pick the more you get because uh, runner beans can really pump out a lot of crop providing they grow okay they're not difficult to grow. Um, like I said, they just don't like really, really terrible weather. They don't like cold. So bear in mind, you know, there's frosts. I'm in, I'm not far from Blackpool. So there's frosts right up until mid-May here. So I, 
I'd probably tend if you, if you were do, think of doing these, give it another week or two, really. Um, if you've got a coal frame or a greenhouse or whatever, um, it'll give you a bit more time. You can steal a couple of weeks. Um, but like I say, just give it a bit of daytime. You know, when it's warmed up a bit before you actually come to plant them out. You know, so probably mid-May. Just keep an eye on things. So thanks for watching. Take care, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.